Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be illustrating some chestnuts and for the supplies materials I will be using same supplies I used for my previous illustrations and all of them are listed in the description box. If you are interested in something you can check that out. And I'm starting off with drawing just a circle for the first chestnut and just adding the central line, curving them and drawing chestnut inside because I do want to make it look like the shell broken and we just see a chestnut inside the shell and then doing the second and the third one. Second one is in a share in the shape of a teardrop and the third one in the shape of an oval and I just drew the those central parts also on both of them. When I was finished with that, this is a quite simple sketch. I moved on to the inking. It just went on top of the ink I did earlier and then shaded inside of the chestnut, just making it look like we can see the, I guess that shell from the inside and also did the second and the third one basic sketch going over the lines I did with my pencil. And then I'm drawing in the spikes on the first uh, chestnut, on the shell of the chestnut and on both sides and I'm just minding the, I guess, the shape of my my shell. I'm just drawing in those uh, spikes curved or actually tilted on the side where the shell is pointed at. That is how you will actually achieve the 3D dimensions dimension and I guess then adding a little bit more of the shading for the first inside of the first chestnut and then those both of those on the outside just adding a couple of details couple of lines again minding the shape of my chestnuts some shading on the shell and this as you can see is quite simple inking for this one. When I was happy with how it looked, I moved on to my watercolors. First, I'm adding sweet yellow to the shell, both sides of it, then adding a little bit of the black, mixing those two paints on my watercolor paper because the paint, the yellow paint is still wet. It is mixing with green. I did not mix it in my palette. I'm just mixing it directly onto my watercolor paper, adding also some coffee brown especially in the part where the shadow is. And then going around with just the clean water to feather out the edge. Some splatters with yellow and with brown. For the second one, I'm using coffee brown and some yellow for the center. Same thing as for the third one, then adding a little bit of the black, mixing it in with coffee brown, achieving a little bit darker brown, and then painting the inside of my first chestnut. And I painted it also coffee brown and then added a little bit of the black to make it slightly darker and some splatters with brown. Picked up just the clean water to create some puddles and then splatters with black. When it dried completely, I'm adding with this smaller detail brush some coffee brown and black details onto my spikes. Not all of them, just some of them. Also adding a little bit more of the black where the shadows or darkest parts of my chestnuts are. A little bit of the coffee brown again for to the center. And you can see I left some spots also white for the highlights. Adding a bit more of the coffee brown to the shell and also some black splatters. And I decided to add a little bit of the mix 
of coffee brown and black to the background just to create the I guess something that those chestnuts are sitting on when I was looking at it I, I decided I do want to add a little bit of the white pen this is a Posca pen just to add some highlights and also I did wanted to make the edge not so clean for my shell of the chestnut for the chestnut and so I've just added you can see that little bit of the I guess spiky line to make it not so clean and with that I'll be finishing off this illustration hopefully guys you enjoyed this video you're gonna give this a try it is quite simple again and if you do like it please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel and if you are interested in real-time videos for the Inktober all of them are available for my channel members and more about the membership you can read from the link in the description box and again thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye